What's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. How's it going you guys? Well today we have a very special video for you guys. It is a product review for Echo Power the Lion Cooler. This thing is freaking amazing. It is a solar powered refrigerator, freezer, cooler. You guys don't want to miss this video. So stay tuned. Let's get it going. Let's do it. Eco Power sent us the Lion Cooler. It is the X40A version right here that we got. It is pretty freaking cool and nifty. It does come with a solar panel. We're gonna show you guys all of the details and all the info on it. But first, I'm gonna grab the camera and let Gary do all the explaining. <laughs> so the really, really cool thing about this thing that it's actually battery powered and operated itself. You can actually run it also just straight through your car. You can run it uh, straight into your wall plug, AC power. You can run it off of solar power itself. But the only thing is with the solar power, you definitely have to have this battery on in order for it to actually run and turn on. That's something that we found out. <laughs> but the cool thing is, is if it is on the solar power and you actually have this all hooked up, you're actually charging your battery as well as running this. So it's dual purpose in the solar power. It's same thing with the AC power. It can just run it and it will go. And it will also charge it if you have this on. Same thing with the DC power itself. You'll be able to plug it in and get this thing running without using the actual battery bank, but you can also charge the battery bank as well at the same time. So it's pretty cool features. Uh, it actually goes down to negative four degrees. Like that's pretty cold. It is a freezer. It is a fridge. It is a cooler and it is awesome. Eliminates the need for ice, and you could definitely make ice in here, and you can definitely do a lot of cool stuff with it. And I mean, this thing is honestly endless. I'm thinking about, you have a day out at the job site or something like that, you could put this thing in the back of your bed of the truck, you can have it running just off the battery bank, plug in the solar power, now you're charging the battery as well as running everything, and you're gonna always have power. The battery bank, is actually five hours for the freezer time and then it's 10 hours for the fridge time so i mean that's a good amount of time and if you have the solar power hooked up to it you're not using any of that time until the sun is gone or you get really really cloudy and then you're actually using the battery off of it and it's really really awesome i mean the features on this thing is pretty freaking spectacular it's pretty cool the really awesome feature like i was saying before it comes with the battery bank so you can actually pull this battery bank out and actually charge it separately. There's a little port right there. So you can actually plug this guy into your solar, have it charged by itself. It's already charged all the way up. So there's no need for that, but you can charge it by itself. You can buy multiple of these, have them on hand, charged, ready to go. And then you can literally just interchange them out and Voila, you have power. You have to hold this guy for three seconds to actually turn it on. So now on the top side itself, you have a non-slip mat itself, so you can actually charge your phone. And it's pretty nifty, because it has a USB port right there. So now you can literally plug in this USB right here. Bam. Put this in your phone. Slap that down. And now you're on a non-slip mat but you can reach in there, grab a drink if you want, close it. Cup holders up on the top side. They also sent you like a little phone holder type thing, slash like beer holder. <laughs> Slap that in there, you can tighten it up and whatnot. So it's pretty cool. Beer holder and then another little compartment. Just got all the charging cables and cords and whatnot in there. So that's always with this thing. Right now we're at 33 degrees inside the cooler where I've got it pretty much set to. I got set to 34. So we can go down, just hold it. And it goes all the way down, negative four. So that's freaking awesome. Now let's see how, how high you can get it. So you got 68 degrees and then it goes down to negative four. So you can have quite a big fluctuation in exactly the degrees that you want the cooler to be in. It's really, really cool because as you can see right there, if you can see it in there, 
on the screen, it's a Bluetooth symbol. So you can actually download an app. You can actually hook it up by Bluetooth and control everything off of your phone. And say that you're far away or you go down fishing at the lake or something like that. And you know that you're gonna be coming back up to the camp. It takes like 30 minutes to get there. You can set it to cool and get it really, really cold before you even get there. So you have a nice cold beverage on your return home. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty cool little feature on it itself. And then it's got the eco mode into it as well. So it can conserve power. Basically, you can change it by hitting that setting, hit it again, and it goes up to max. And then that way you can actually get the max out of it and really, really get it cold real quick. For charging, there's a low, medium, or high setting when you actually have the bolts coming in. So you definitely, in the user manual, it talks about it and saying like, if you have, if you're plugged into a car, definitely set it at the high setting. So that way you don't blow up this inverter that actually, charges this battery and does everything else. All right, so I have shown you guys everything about the power setting and this itself, the actual battery. So let's show you the inside. We're at 33 degrees, it's nice and cold. You can see some condensation starting to build up and it actually has the icicles mm -hmm. up on the side, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a drain plug and it's mainly for that aspect right there. If you have this thing set really, really cold and you get ice built up on it, then you just unhook it, open up this, let it thaw out, and then you can actually untwist that and let all the water drain out. So it's pretty nice. It also has a little light down here. So at night, you're able to open this thing up, see what you're doing, grab a drink that you want, close it back up, and it only activates when you open the lid. So this version right here, the X40A, this is a 40 liter cooler. So it's a pretty big size cooler. You've got quite a bit of room back over here. There's quite a bit of room in here obviously you want to space everything out and leave a good pockets in between so all the cool air can get in between everything but it's really really awesome i like it you want a nice cold one baby sure a nice cold one, baby. Ooh, it is cold <sighs> but i want to keep this thing charging and stay charged without killing our battery so let's just plug that guy in and you know what's really cool too? What's that? That solar charger right there. That actually has like a whole nother uh, envelope, sticky uh, Velcro case type thing where you can actually plug a uh, phone into it, set it in there and it will charge by itself. So this is a 90 watt solar panel, which is pretty, pretty nice. Let me, I'll flip it over this way. It's still charging because of that side. But we've got, yeah, USB and a C. So you can do C to C. You can do straight phone. But that's that. Let's open this up and so that way it will fully charge. It, your phone dinged, but you're at 100%. Shows this charge signal though. So in theory, say that you had two people needing to charge your phone, you can have one charging over there. You can put another one right here, put it back into that Velcro case thing and just close that up. So that way your phone just stays in there. It's not falling on the ground. And it's charging. Pretty cool. That was really cool. And I say that, you know, you don't need this to charge that. And you just wanted to use this. You don't even have to have it plugged in. You just literally open it up, plug it in right there. As soon as this is open, you're getting power. <laughs> pretty neat. So it's pretty cool. All it needs to do is have sun. And you got power. That's the cool thing about solar. One cool thing that it does have, unlike some coolers, it actually has a handle and it has wheels. We uh, walked probably a good like 200 feet away from our campsite with it. It rolled perfectly nice all the way over here. It was uh, easy to move around. <laughs> it's not a big, bulky, heavy thing like uh, some coolers. It's really, really nice. I'm really happy with this. And I can see us using this in the near future on many, many fishing trips and uh, just working down in the hole and uh, 
getting all this stuff done. It's a really, really cool unit. So guys, again, it has the 173 watt hours lithium battery. The AC wall charging is 120 uh, or 112 watts, four hour charge time. DC, the car charger, it's uh, 48 watts, again, four hour charge time. And the solar panel, which is 105 watts, it's about four hours. So regardless of how you're trying to charge this thing, it should be good to go for you guys in four hours. Not bad if you ask me. If you want to use it for refrigeration, your battery is gonna last you about 10 hours. And that's in the eco. And that's in the eco and low mode. Freezing, it's gonna be about five hours. Again, in eco and low mode. So this thing can last for a pretty good amount of time, especially if you are charging it while you're using it and you're only having it use those timing during the night when you're not charging it with the solar panel if you are out and about off grid. If you wanna use the app, it does have an app inside the app store. It's the portable freezer app. Um, and it also has one for the ISO systems as well as the Android systems. So guys, if you are as impressed with this little unit as we are, and you guys are looking to get one for yourselves, we do have a link down in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so we do make a little something something off of all of the sales. Yep. But we also have a promotional code for you guys, which is SLR4136. Yes. So make sure to use that on checkout. You guys are gonna receive a good discount on this product. Um, I highly suggest it. If you guys are living off grid, if you guys are van lifers, uh, bus lifers, any of that kind of stuff. You or have kids that are going to be going to sporting events yes. constantly. This would be a this really good thing for you really, too. This is going to be a really, really awesome thing for that. I'm yeah. just saying. <laughs> it's awesome, guys. We Tell can't wait to use it for all of those different things. Going to the beach, going out hiking, um, any of those types of situations where you want to keep your drinks or your food cool, but you don't want to hassle with having to go back and continually get ice. And then have your food be wet because of the ice and everything yeah. else. Like, yep. There, there's so many benefits, but this cooler, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I'm very, very impressed with this product, guys, and I think that you will be too. So we wanted to send a huge shout out and thank you again to Echo Power for sending us their solar panel and their Lion cooler system. Yep. Thank you guys so, so much. We really appreciate it. And we wanted to thank you, the audience, for uh, checking out this video and learning a little bit about our new product. So we love you guys. We're going to have more videos out for you soon. But until the next one, we hope you guys have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one, you guys. Bye, you guys. Later, later.